Our guest today on interview with Dan Newbern is executive chef Philip Lowe, who is the executive chef at Jasmine at the Bellagio's Gourmet Chinese Restaurant. And it is gorgeous in here. And I understand that as pretty and as gorgeous as the restaurant is, the food is even better. And you're here to demonstrate uh, the preparation of which dish? Hot pot. Hot pot. And would you show us how you do all this magic? Yeah. Um, the hot pot, that means all food is prepared by raw. So in front of you, you have the, the boiling chicken broth. So f first of all, we put some bit on the next. And put there. That's the halfway. If you like more cooked or well done, put a little bit long time. Wow, that was quick. And using a uh, Three different sauce, uh, ch chili soy sauce, uh, sesame seed paste, uh, sasha sauce. Uh, <clears throat> depend how you like. Is it spicy? Is it mild? Or uh, you can make it whatever you wish. Yes, you can make whatever you like. You can make really spice. Even the broth, you can make uh, crazy spice, or just clear broth. When people order it, do they tell you we like it hot? I mean, even though it's called hot, is that that's not just the temperature that can be the the flavor. It's just really spicy. Really spicy. All right. And then the others are put in cooked also. Yeah, uh, like this uh, scallop. A little bit longer time. Have you any idea how many of these you have fixed in your lifetime? For the hot pot? Yeah. In Hong Kong, in the winter time, almost every time. Oh, really? Yeah. Because it... And uh, some like uh, the vegetable, we can put it... Take some more long time. Like spinach. We just cook like this, like that. Wow. I wish you all could smell how delicious. I know you see how it looks, but it smells and, uh, delicious. Tomato also. And the leopard cabbage takes a little bit longer. And also we do have uh, the grass noodle. Now, do you present this or prepare this in the presence of folks too, so they see it, or is this done uh, back in the uh, the kitchen, or or because it's fascinating just to watch it being being cooked? Yeah, we we prepare it in, the, in uh, the kitchen. It's very fascinating. In in May, on May sixth, at 3 p.m. here at the restaurant. You will be participating in a demonstration of this, and uh, there will be other demonstrations that are being made during that whole week, I understand, as part of Vegas on Court uh, by Bon Appetit. Yes. Is, is that something that cooks kind of look forward to, or chefs look forward to, uh, seeing how other chefs prepare food, or, or do you pretty much know how they're going to do it? It's a different style so we can learn uh, with each other and you even even as long as you've been doing this there's still things that you pick up from other people or you're it's a learning process yes and it's well attended because people get an opportunity that they might not normally get to uh, be exposed and have an opportunity to see and meet and taste some of this food it's a tremendous idea. And uh, congratulations uh, again on your selection as uh, one of America's outstanding chefs at certainly a, one of America's outstanding restaurants. Thank you for your time. Thank you.